The Chinese work ethic is unbelievable. I was running late to like a meeting. It was like five o'clock. I'm like, oh, are you guys gonna be closed? And they're like, no man, like we're working until 10 o'clock at night, six days a week. Employees don't even wanna work for us unless we can offer them these hours and overtime. Um, you know, it's a vast contrast compared to the United States where it's like, you know, nine to five, as soon as Friday hits, you check out and you leave. It's even worse than Latin America, like even big stores like Home and Goods, like nothing's open on the weekend. It's like the whole economy shuts down. You can argue, you know, quality of life in Latin America. Hey, it's a, it's a, you know more relaxed, chill vibe. Here, it is work, work, work. You are dedicated, you know, to your job, to your business. It's you know a seven day a week venture, and you know you see this work ethic and you understand why you know this you know Shenzhen where I'm at right now just came from you know nothing to just massive in a short period of time. You know, you know Hong Kong was you know the big skyline over here, and now Shenzhen towers over Hong Kong. When you're driving them out, commercial vehicles, construction, business, manufacturing, and this city just goes in every direction you look. It's never ending. I've never, you know, been in a city this big. Like, you know, it, it just dwarfs anything I've ever seen in the United States. And I think a lot of, you know, Americans don't understand the economic miracle that, you know, has happened in China and how they are progressing technologically and manufacturing. And, you know, now that they've been doing manufacturing for this many years, they're actually getting into the innovation. They're not doing cheap knockoffs anymore. It's all high-end stuff. Shenzhen's, you know, high-end electronics. Um, you know, this is a very impressive um, city. I've also never felt, you know, unsafe here. I felt very safe walking around. Um, people are very friendly. Not a lot of foreign here, foreigners here. I was in, you know, some meetings and, you know, some neighborhoods and people were giving me like, where did this guy come from? But uh, it's been a great experience here. And, uh, you know, I went and checked out some Bitcoin uh, miner wholesalers, ATM manufacturers. It was the hosting here is incredible. You know, they are just Chinese are just great, you know, business people. So if you're interested, you know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin miners, follow me, the Bitcoin capitalist and uh, check out my link in the profile.